Hello students, today we are going to study the most interesting topic that is economic growth and development. The very first module students is economic growth and in this we are going to study introduction and meaning. Now students let us start with what is economic growth. To understand this concept let us take one example. For example you can see in this picture there is a production process of yummy chocolate sandwich ice cream. Now students in the year 2013 output of this chocolate sandwich ice cream which is a commodity was just 40 percent in an economy. But later the production in the year 2014 of same chocolate sandwich ice cream increased to 60 percent. Now students previous it was 40 percent later it becomes 60 percent. So the increase in the real that is physical output of a commodity that is there is increase in production over a period of time from 40 percent to 60 percent. This is known as economic growth. Now students why there is increase in production? Because there is increase in consumption, there is increase in demand of commodity, there should be increase in the supply of commodity so that there is increase in production students. To continue, what is the meaning of economic growth? Students, economic growth has quantitative dimensions. Now, what is this quantitative all about? To understand, let us take one example students. Now, in our example, the production of a goods was 100 kgs in an economy. So, what is the output students? 100 kgs from 100 it went up to 1000. So, now suppose there are 1000 kgs of goods produced. From 1000 it went up to 10,000 kgs. Now, students with the growth in economy suppose there are 10,000 kgs of goods produced. So, we are moving from 100 to 1000 to 10,000. This is known as growth by quantitative dimension students. To continue, increase in real output of goods and services and whenever there is increase in quantity of all goods and service, not only specific good students, we consider all goods and services, it is called as economic growth. To continue students, growth is not an end in itself. Now students what does this end mean? Students you know our wants which are unlimited chahiye or chahiye or chahiye they are never ending students and yes economic growth is just a resource to achieve our want and that will lead to what? Development students. To continue it is an important tool for increasing employment with the help of economic growth employment will increase and yes students if employment increases it will also raise the standard of living of the people of this country. So, this was all about introduction and meaning of economic growth.